Have you ever wondered how one of the greatest empires in ancient history, the Mauryan Empire, came to an untimely end? Let's take a step back to the dawn of this grand empire. The Mauryan Empire, founded in the 4th century BC, was one of the earliest and most significant empires in the world. The shimmering jewel of the Indian subcontinent, it was a beacon of power and prosperity. The rise of the Mauryan Empire is a story of ambition. It all began with Chandragupta Maurya. A vision of a united India under one rule was his driving force, and he didn't stop until the entire Indian subcontinent was under his control. His rule marked the beginning of a golden era in ancient Indian history. The empire reached its zenith under the rule of Emperor Ashoka, Chandragupta's grandson. Ashoka, a visionary and a philosopher king, extended the empire's boundaries and took it to unparalleled heights. The Mauryan Empire under Ashoka stretched from present-day Afghanistan in the west to Bangladesh in the east and as far south as the Deccan Plateau. The reign of Ashoka was a pivotal point in the history of the Mauryan Empire. Ashoka, known as Ashoka the Great, came to power in the 3rd century BCE and his rule was marked by a significant shift in governance, a shift that many historians believe played a crucial role in the eventual decline of the Mauryan Empire. Ashoka was renowned for his policies, which were markedly different from his predecessors. He was a visionary ruler, one who prioritized the welfare of his subjects above all else. He established a vast network of hospitals, both for humans and animals, throughout his empire. He built roads and rest houses to facilitate trade and travel. He also implemented policies to foster harmony and mutual respect among the diverse religious and ethnic groups within his realm. But perhaps the most defining aspect of Ashoka's reign was his conversion to Buddhism. After witnessing the devastating effects of war in the Battle of Kalinga, Ashoka was filled with remorse. He renounced violence and embraced the teachings of Buddha, vowing to rule by Dharma or righteous conduct. This profound change in Ashoka's philosophy had a sweeping impact on his governance. He replaced military conquest with a policy of cultural conquest. He sent Buddhist missionaries across the breadth of his empire and beyond to spread the teachings of non-violence, compassion and tolerance. He had the teachings of Buddha inscribed on rocks and pillars throughout his kingdom, making them accessible to all. While Ashoka's reign is remembered for its enlightened policies and the propagation of Buddhism, some historians argue that these very factors contributed to the weakening of the Mauryan Empire. They believe that Ashoka's pacifist policies and the resources spent on spreading Buddhism strained the empire's economy and military strength, making it vulnerable to internal dissent and external invasions. Ashoka's death marked the beginning of the end for the Mauryan Empire. His successors were unable to sustain his policies or keep the empire united, leading to its gradual disintegration. Despite its decline, the Mauryan Empire under Ashoka's reign left an indelible mark on the annals of history, setting a precedent for governance based on compassion and righteousness. After Ashoka's death, the Mauryan Empire began to falter. A period of decline set in marked by a succession of weaker rulers who were nothing like the formidable Ashoka. The throne was passed on like a token from one ineffectual king to another, each proving less competent than his predecessor. This era was marked by political instability as the central authority weakened. The once powerful Mauryan Empire was now a shadow of its former self. The strong administrative structure put in place by Ashoka and his predecessors began to crumble. The central control loosened and the empire's vast territories became increasingly difficult to govern Simultaneously, the empire was plagued by internal strife. Ambitious nobles and regional governors saw the weakening central authority as an opportunity to gain power. These power struggles further weakened the empire, and the unity that once defined the Mauryas was lost. The empire was gradually fragmenting into smaller regional powers. This decentralization of power was a significant factor in the decline of the Mauryan Empire. The once centrally governed empire was now a collection of semi-autonomous territories. Regional rulers became more powerful, often acting independently of the central authority. This shift in power dynamics was a clear sign that the empire was losing its grip. Despite the challenges, there were attempts to revive the empire to restore it to its former glory. But these efforts were in vain. The empire was too far gone. The rot had set in and no amount of effort could reverse the decline. 
The post-Ashoka era was a time of decline and disintegration for the Mauryan Empire. The empire that once stretched across the Indian subcontinent, the empire that Ashoka had ruled with such might and wisdom, was now falling apart. The issues that had been kept at bay during Ashoka's reign now came to the fore, leading to the gradual downfall of the empire. The once mighty empire was gradually disintegrating from within. It was a slow process, but the signs were clear. The Mauryan Empire, once a beacon of power and prosperity, was on a downward spiral, a path that eventually led to its end. While internal factors played a significant role, external factors too contributed to the Mauryan Empire's demise. As the Mauryan Empire expanded, it encountered various foreign powers. These interactions were not always peaceful. Invaders from the Northwest, such as the Greeks, Scythians and Parthians, began to infiltrate the Empire's borders. These invasions were not just military challenges, but they also strained the empire's resources. The Mauryan Empire was not just fighting battles on the front lines, it was also grappling with an economic crisis at home. The empire was vast, and it required significant resources to maintain its administration and military. The treasury was dwindling, and the empire was finding it increasingly difficult to meet its expenses. A key factor contributing to this economic crisis was the loss of trade routes. The Mauryan Empire had established a vast network of trade routes spanning across the Indian subcontinent and beyond. These routes were instrumental in the empire's prosperity, facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas and culture. However, as the empire began to crumble, these trade routes were lost. This had a significant impact on the economy. The flow of goods slowed down and the empire lost a valuable source of income. This economic downturn further weakened the empire, making it more vulnerable to external threats. Meanwhile, pressure was building up on the borders. The empire had expanded rapidly, and it was becoming increasingly difficult to maintain control over the vast territories. The border regions were restive and there were frequent uprisings. These uprisings diverted resources away from the core regions of the empire and further weakened its hold over the territories. When we put these factors together, we get a picture of an empire under siege. The Mauryan Empire was facing challenges from within and without. It was grappling with invasions, economic crises and uprisings. The empire was facing challenges on all fronts, and its downfall seemed inevitable. The decline of the Mauryan Empire was a gradual process that spanned several decades. The final days of this illustrious empire were marked by a steady decline in political power and territorial control, leading to its eventual downfall. At the helm of the crumbling empire was its last ruler, Brihadratha Maurya. Unlike his predecessors, Brihadratha was unable to hold the empire together. His reign was characterized by a series of political issues and internal disputes which further weakened the empire's foundation. Brihadratha's inability to maintain control over the vast territories of the empire created a power vacuum and it wasn't long before ambitious individuals seized the opportunity to rise. One of those ambitious individuals was Pushyamitra Shonga, a general in Brihadratha's army. Seeing the empire's weakened state, Pushyamitra made a bold move. During a military parade in a shocking turn of events, Pushyamitra assassinated Brihadratha, thereby ending the Mauryan dynasty. This event marked a pivotal moment in Indian history, signifying the end of the Mauryan Empire. But every end heralds a new beginning. Following the assassination of Brihadratha, Pushyamitra Shunga established his own dynasty, aptly named the Shunga dynasty. The Shungas, however, were never able to recreate the glory of the Mauryan Empire. While they managed to hold on to some of the Mauryan territories, their rule was marked by constant warfare and internal strife. The end of the Mauryan Empire was not just the fall of a dynasty, but a shift in the political, cultural and social landscape of India. The empire's downfall led to the rise of smaller regional kingdoms, marking a new era of political fragmentation and cultural diversity. The Mauryan Empire, once a beacon of power and prosperity, was no more. Its grand palaces, bustling cities and vast territories were passed on to successors who could never quite match the Mauryan grandeur. And so, the once glorious Mauryan Empire faded into the annals of history. Its legacy, however, continues to echo through the ages, reminding us of a time when a single empire ruled the vast Indian subcontinent. The decline of the Mauryan Empire was indeed a complex process. A magnificent empire that once spanned the Indian subcontinent 
its downfall was not the result of a single cause, but a combination of several internal and external factors. The reign of Ashoka, marked by peace and prosperity, was followed by a period of instability and weak leadership in the post-Ashoka era. This period saw a decline in the central authority of the empire, leading to its weakening. Externally, the empire faced pressures from invaders and changing geopolitical landscapes. These factors contributed to the weakening of the empire's boundaries and ultimately its dissolution. At the end of it all, the once mighty Mauryan Empire came to an end. But it's important to remember that empires rise and fall. It's a cycle as old as civilization itself. Though it fell, the Mauryan Empire's impact on history and its lessons remain relevant even today.